What can you and I do as young people, college students, professionals? What can we do in our cities, in our nation? How can we be missionaries or ministers in the marketplace? This is a very, very basic, something that everyone can do. Influence the culture in your school, in your college, in your place of work. Influence the culture with biblical values, kingdom principles. That's simply being salt and light. There we are. mountain of education, media, all forms of mass communication, television, internet, uh, 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 print, media, uh, arts and entertainment, every expression of culture through dance to music to sport, other activities that express culture, art and entertainment, business or economy, all forms of trade and commerce, technology and science and medicine and government. What God was saying is his people needs, need to go into these spheres of influence and begin to affect culture and begin to shape the thought processes, the reasonings, the ideologies that occupy these seven spheres of influence. And if God's people will do that, any nation, any city, any nation can be discipled, meaning the great commission can be fulfilled. If my people would get into these seven spheres and transform culture in these seven spheres, they can disciple any nation. Many churches, many Christian organizations have work going on in common areas of need in the city. For example, in the area of marriages, there may be organizations devoted to building marriages. There will be churches that are having their own marriage building programs uh, and uh, seminars. Uh, or there could be orphanages. There could be uh, other kinds of need, uh, maybe working among slums and so on. Where there are common areas of need being addressed by multiple churches, multiple organizations. So here, the, it, this is a case where work is already happening. What if we all... Un choose to come together and work together in partnership for these same common areas of need. So what if um, churches and Christian organizations uh, working in this common area came together and developed something that they could offer to believers across churches, uh, the body of Christ in the city, as well as provide that to those outside the church. Example, uh, something that's geared towards strengthening marriages. You know, this is partnership in practice. This is living out this, the unity that we share. We can share our knowledge, we can share our experiences, we can share our resources and therefore have a much wider and greater impact on this particular area or these areas of need. Example, think about uh, if you're trying to deal with the, uh, with the problem of uh, kids on the streets, uh, you know, uh, let's say there are two or three churches doing, the, doing this work separately. They can only have minimal impact. But what if the body of Christ came together, uh, pulled in resources, pulled in uh, people, pulled in ideas, and, uh, and, and went after this together? 
we can really have a major impact on the city and uh, that will leave a mark that, that, that's for the glory of God on the city. And we have citywide unity gatherings directed for different purposes. And we do this together united with no name of any church or any organization or any individual uh, being lifted up. Uh, only the name of Jesus Christ. And if we can do these things, this is truly unity in practice and we can have a great impact. Believers in the city uh, in across churches must also be given an understanding of the citywide church and uh, believers across churches and across denominations uh, should be encouraged to work together uh, for the transformation of the city. Uh, and again, when you talk about city transformation, there are several uh, different areas of transformation. There is spiritual transformation where believers can come and can pray together, uh, can intercede together for the transformation of the city, for the salvation of the city. And this can be done across churches and across denominations. Social transformation, some of the things which we've been addressing, where believers come together to address the social needs of the city. Marketplace transformation, where believers come together to address the marketplace, to impact the marketplace, or to lift up the name of Jesus and see his kingdom come in the marketplace or there could also be physical transformation which has to do with seeing the city uh, improve in infrastructure or the needs uh, where believers work together to bring about that change. 